CataractCoach.com, there's no need to hook the lens equator. You can simply place the chopper within the cap's axis and into the nucleus and still achieve the chop. Let's watch it first here in real time, and then I'll show it to you in high magnification and slow motion. So place the chopper into the nucleus, watch carefully, not under the axis, within the axis. Bring the instruments together and apart. And now we've achieved a nice chop. Two halves are created. Now rotate the nucleus, and here's we, we can do it again, buzzing in, chopper goes into the nucleus, and just separate them out. Traditional horizontal chop requires you to place the chopper under the caps or axis and go out to the equator of the caps or bags so you can hook the lens equator. Vertical chop keeps both instruments right there in the center and changes the force vector to a more vertical one. This is a combo chop. It's kind of a little bit of both. Let's call it the best of both worlds here. And so we can very easily chop this nucleus that has moderate nuclear density. Very easy to chop. And we can do that while keeping both instruments, the phaco probe and the chopper, within the capsule axis. Now here at the end, we can bring it up. This is more of the horizontal technique going around the lens equator. But that initial chop and even the subsequent first quadrant chop were done by just placing the chopper into the nucleus within the capsule axis. No need to go under the rex edge. And it works very efficiently. You can see the nucleus can be removed in you know, a minute or so. Very, very stable technique and very repeatable. This is a nice way to learn chop. So I call it combo chop. It's been described by many other surgeons. This is nothing that I've invented. So we see that's very efficient and very safe. Now let's watch it again. I'll show it to you in higher magnification and it will repeat and show you in slow motion. So again, phaco probe here in high mag, you can see we're placing it just inside that subincisional capsule axis. The chopper is pushed into the nucleus straight down and then bring the instruments together and apart to create two halves. Really nice. Now let's watch it with slow motion. This is at one third normal speed. Look, we push the phaco probe in, the chopper's pushed in, two minutes are brought together, and there we split it apart. And you can see two halves are achieved very nicely. A little extra separation to make sure the halves are freed from each other. And now we can go on to sub chop the rest of the nucleus. So let's resume here in normal speed. And you can see it's very easy to do this technique again, pushing the chopper right into the nucleus, split that, and there we go, you have quadrants. This is just a repeat with higher magnification, a replay here, so you can understand the technique. And now, notice how the chopper at this point just pushes the pieces in front of the probe, keeps them in the correct position. So we can rotate around, let's get that other quadrant out, and then that last half will chop again. So make sure we have good separation, there it is. Bring this quadrant up, right about the iris plane. We don't wanna ride the endothelium when we're doing this. You wanna be just at the iris plane and taking that down. Now the last half, I'll show you a traditional horizontal chop, which is chopper going around the lens equator. And then now you can break off a quarter and then the last quarter is in the capsule bag. And then notice how we keep the eye in primary the whole time. And then the chopper is being used now to push that last piece in front of the phaco probe, so pushing it. And now the back end, the smooth side, the curved side of the chopper is going to be facing the posterior capsule. Just in case there's some surge that we weren't planning, we don't want that posterior capsule to come in contact with the phaco probe. And then that looks great. Taking out a little bit of an epinuclear shell there. And there's the last little piece. So very nice technique. You can certainly learn this. It's just not that hard. Let me fast forward to the end of the case here and show you what it looked like. And now you can see there's the rexus. I want to show you this part so you can see that it's a five millimeter capsule rexus. It's a six millimeter optic. And you can see that lens is beautifully centered. That looks great. Seal up the incision here. This is a bare minimum amount of phaco energy, a very efficient case. Very little fluid was placed through the eye. Remember, it's not just about the ultrasonic energy. If you run 500 cc's of fluid through the eye, you're going to really surprise and hurt that corneal endothelium. So you want to minimize the surgical fluid that's used during surgery, the BSS, the amount you run through the eye. And that looks great. So try this technique. I call it combo chop. We have many videos here in Cataract Coach, and I think you'll learn to do this technique quite well. I know you love the YouTube videos, but check out the website, cataractcoach.com. A lot easier to navigate. We have a complete list of articles and videos. You can go and check on any of these categories and explore more. You can also search. There's a search engine that's really effective. You can see Gore-Tex lenses like this. And finally, you can look up about me. There's a link that has my surgical instruments. 
Now you don't even have to ask me. You can just find out for yourself. What's the name of those forceps?